ministry head, Sheila Napalang. Okay? Ang Tagalang-dalang na Sheila. Magandang gabi po. Ako po si Sheila Napalang. Kinakatawan po ang formation history na nata sa may father po na mag-facilitate sa foreign people. Hayaan po ako na i-introduce ko na aking dalawang two distinguished speakers for this evening. I'll introduce them both um, at the same time so I don't have to come up on stage again. Our first speaker is a multi-awarded professor, researcher, historian, and writer. He was born and raised in Aval, Bilinan, and finished his MA and PhD in Tagloba Lake. He's a full, full professor at the School of Health Sciences, University of the Philippines, Manila, in Palo. He's also a lifetime member of the Philippine National Historical Society, where he's also a member of the Editorial Advisory Board of the Journal of History and has edited recent, has edited recent issues of the Journal of History. Likewise, he is a regional representative for the Cyrus and Secretary of the Executive Council in the National Commission on Historical Research of the National Commission for Culture and he is a co-translator and co-editor of the book, The Colonial Odyssey of Lady, from 1521 to 1914, that won the 2006 National Book Award for Translation. He is also the author of the following books. Please take note, have to take it out when you read it. The Balagiga. Balagiga. Is that correct? Balagiga. Balagiga, conflict revisited in 2003. Data Summer Shadows Essays of the History of Eastern Visayas, 2008, Surat Bilisaya, Deciphering Ancient Visayan Writing and Language, 2017. He has written numerous papers published in journals. Most interesting of them are Barangay Iyana, The Right Side of the First Nas in Masawa in 1951, published in 2008, The Bolivian Religious Revolt, published in 2006, the Super Typhoon Yolanda, the new master of our lives in 2015, and 100 years of Balangiga literature, a review in 2004. He's a consultant and advisor to the American campaigners for the return of the bells of Balangiga to the Philippines from 2013 to 2018. He is a Filipino frontline in the very stages of campaign for the return of the Balangiga bells to the country. And finally, this is probably his best claim to fame. And finally, um, this is actually quoted verbatim from Father Bob's introduction of him yesterday. Since I'm privileged to introduce him to you, allow me to let you know that he is a resource person for the national costume of the 2018 Miss Universe, Miss Catriona Gray. But there's history there. You suggested the themes of the two by buying and resilience, which were all incorporated in the custom design. If nothing else, you probably remember the last part. So probably Filipino is a uh, Dr. Orlando O. Bolinata. <laughs> Equally distinguished and Gordon Brent as well. And, uh, his Reverend Father Dennis M. Caganda. Father Dennis is a Roman Catholic priest of the Diocese of Maasin, Southern Dayton. He was ordained priest in October 23, 1995. He received his priestly formation at San Jose Seminary in Loyola Heights, Quezon City, and finished his MA in Theology at the Loyola, Loyola, Loyola School of Theology in Ateneo de Manila he also took leadership studies at Gonzaga University in Spokane, Washington State, and finished his PhD in Educational Leadership, Administration, and Policy at Fordham University in New York. He currently is a professor in Seminario de Mayor de San Carlos, Cebu, and St. John Mariliani Seminary in Manunta, Mariano. He is also co-pastor of the Immaculate Conception Parish in Baybay Leite and director of the Office of Research at St. Joseph College in Mass. In preparation for the 500th anniversary of Christianity in the Philippines, the Bishop of the Diocese
Diocese of Asia has appointed Father Dennis Executive Chair of the Commission on the 500th anniversary of the first Easter Sunday Mass of 1521 in Israel. Ladies and gentlemen, please have me welcome our two distinguished guests for this evening. document was signed by most Reverend Antonio J. Lisma, this J. Apostolic Administrator of the Diocese. So in both one, they have in fact the cross and uh, the Zetan uh, statues. Well, I am starting to say Posting of the Bhutan proclamation on social media in late June 2018 was preceded by some hype that it would be approved by the Catholic Bishop's Conference in Philippines during its July meeting and it included some goodbye to Masawa Hayden from the Bhutan side. Now, uh, instead of approving uh, the Bhutan proclamation, our Bishop Yes, the CBC President uh, ordered the permanent committee for the cultural heritage in the church to conduct its own investigation of the first mass controversy. Now, uh, this development in the CBC afforded me a parallel opportunity to present uh, additional uh, documentary evidence of Limasawa, now an island municipality in southern Lake, was the historical Masawa where the recorded first mass. Philippine soil was celebrated on Easter Sunday in 1521. There's a map there of Google Earth map of Nibasawa. It's a tiny island, 8 kilometers from north to south, and uh, 3 kilometers uh, in widest. New evidence would show that Nibasawa was politically called Nibasawa with its spelling variants. The Spanish years until 1602, before Father Pontes labeled it as Limasawa in the 1660s. Limasawa actually became a name only much later, not, not during the first uh, 100 years. Now, the, the term first mass was introduced in the 1660s by Father Francisco Colin, who erroneously placed the event in Uruguay. It is itself controversial and equally contested on behalf of Pomoron Island in summer because they also claimed that there was a first mass in Pomoron for the whole land of invitation. Thus, I use here the more neutral and restrictive term Easter Sunday Mass in 1521. In a paper published in 2008, I had theorized that the first mass event was held in western Limasawa and not in the southeastern part of the island in which a national sign complex has been built. 
Here I will present the illustrative photos and my complementary narrative to bolster my 10 year old theory of the first mass of the Western, not Southeastern. A number of primary sources would show that the present the Masawa Island in Southern Lake was politically called Masawa throughout the 16th century. A confounding factor in the early Spanish transcriptions of the island's name could be attributed to the fact that the spoken S letter among the Messiah's borders of the sea. Sound, and there is no letter W in the Spanish alphabet. The sound was represented in different ways, thus the various spellings of the native literature. Isa lang yung pagbasa niya ng Espanyol, masawa, pero kung kita tayo Pilipino magbabasa, parang hindi ba iba yung pagpunaan sa natin ng popular uh, spellings. Okay, so when the controversy came, I started piling up my, my uh, documentary evidence na talaga in the early years, the name of the island was Masawa. So I came up with a list of uh, seven across the, the, the uh, timeline that uh, spans around the century. Now the first, perhaps the oldest, was the Limasawa Park. I discovered the during cultural mapping in Limasawa There is a, uh, in this photo, there is a, uh, there are by my characters there with the name Masawa. And uh, that was my transcription of the by my writings. And uh, I know how to read by my also. And uh, in this uh, part, uh, this is actually a cellular wear. So that we were about 1,000 years old, but the Bible writing is about 500 years old. Recycled. And then there are two words there, Bakala and Masawa. Bakala is the ancient desired word for human sacrifice. So there was a, there was a So anyway, the important thing of this uh, artifact is that the old name of the Masawa, Masawa, is dead. Then uh, in 1591, there was a new 
in the ground, the name of the island was still Mosawa. And it was separated from, in fact, from Mindanao. And uh, in 1602, uh, Father Fabricio Sansali visited uh, Mosawa and met Riesuelo uh, Mampangao who would stay in the report Lankar report 20 years later and uh, the name was David Island was in one sentence Masawa and then in the next sentence Himasawa so there is an additional letter but anyway for at least 80 years from Tigapeta to 62 the name of the island was Masawa In the 1660s, uh, different Masawa and the islands name would be added different prefectures by three districts, all named Francisco. Father Colvin called it the Masawa, Father Gomez called it Limasawa, and uh, Father Alcina called it Imasawa. Actually, you are not supposed, supposed to read the A's. Father Congress's Limasawa name stuck presumably because it was used as label at the island, spread as Limasawa, and the first map of the Philippines made by the Jesuit Father Borinio Bilal in 1734. So that's the first map uh, of the Philippines uh, with the uh, label Limasawa, the same map that was used to claim West Philippine Sea. <laughs> so, so. Right. 
The recent book, Futuan Proclamation, cited sources such as the 1886 Diocese of Civil Narrative and the First Mass and the Planting of the Cross of Futuan, which were published just before the Amoretti edition of the Gavita Scholars. But it is silent about the fact that the Butuan tradition was not ended in favor of the Masawa starting around 1895. An extensive examination of the evidence relevant to the Butuan versus the Masawa controversy over the site of the first class was published by the Jesuit historian Father Bernard in 1921. An extensive documentation apparently in support of the Masawa claim also appeared a century ago in the notes of the history of Lady by Manuel Artigas in Guerra. So there was already a previous debate 100 years ago when it was uh, documented by Manuel Artigas. Now, uh, when Limasawa started commemorating the first mass, the organizers situated this event in the southeastern part of the island, on which sea waters the Magellan expedition and their ships first met Masawa natives on March 28, uh, 1521. So, uh, the historical site is now part of Barangay Magallanes, which was still a seat show in the early 1950s. So that's the picture of the shrine, the general shrine, And then a uh, historical marker installed here by the Philippine Historical Committee in 1950 immortalized the Masawa's role in the following text. First Mass in the Philippines, celebrated here on Easter Sunday, 31 March 2021, when Magellan landed on this island of the Masawa on his voyage around the world. Early in the morning, Magellan sent ashore Priest Pedro de Valderrama with men to prepare a mass of the inform Rancha Colombo to an interpreter that he and his men would plan to attend. The Raja showed consent by sending gifts. As Magellan and his men approached the shore, a salvo of six guns was fired as a sign of peace. Rajas Colombo and Siago each embraced Magellan, planted him, and together with the sailors, they marched to the place of worship. During the mass, the Rajas remained on their knees with clasped hands. At the, at the elevation, the ships fired on the artillery in response to musket signal from the shore. So, uh, in uh, a small billboard near the marker in Magdiparangay Magallan, it tells that the place is now recognized as the national shrine of the first mass in the Philippines on 31 March. 1521, the Masawa Southern Lady. There's also a law that effectively in the Indian society of the first mass. Now, uh, in March 3, 1996, the Putuan side revived the first mass uh, controversy with the Department of High Profile, parallel commemoration of the 450th anniversary of this event. Compared to the rise of the Masawa Butuan got more prominent visitors that year, as well as better coverage and publicity of national TV and newspapers. Uh, In response to this controversy, the National Historical Institute created uh, an ad hoc panel in May 1996, which aimed to resolve a very sensitive historical issue facing our country and our people. The panel was composed of retired Supreme Court Justice and Emilio Caico, lawyer Bartolome Fernandez, and Dr. Maria Melissa Camaga. In March 1998, the Gantaico panel submitted the resolution to the NSI. They concluded that upon a preponderance of evidence called from the primary sources, 
the first ever Christian mass of Philippine soil on March 31, 2021 was celebrated in the island of Minasawa, South of Lady. Now, uh, however, one of the panel's key findings proved refutable when confronted with a primary source that the NHI had allegedly not accepted and nearly ignored at the time. Referring to the Dennis de Mafra uh, account, it was offered, but it was ignored. It was not even reported. And I, if that that type of panel has accepted that the anchoring facilities of Ibasawa did not pose any problem for the Magellan Street, which anchored near or at some safe distance from the island of the eastern shore. Now, the finding could be, ref be refuted by the account by Lenz de Mafra, as I mentioned earlier, he was a member of both of the Magellan Expedition and the Yellow Rose Expedition in the 1540s, and was the only Spaniard known to have known to have visited Masawa twice. Uh, he wrote, the island has a good harbor on its western side and is inhabited. He and Jalan anchored the fleet in that port, then the natives came out to welcome the fleet. So yon ang uh, contention. Now it was this uh, contested premise that inspired me to write the paper which theorized that Barangay Guyana in Western Limasawa was the site of the first mass. Months before the publication of my paper, the NHI convened the forum on the Magellan Expedition in the National Museum on 29 August 9, 2008. I was one of three speakers invited to present uh, our respective positions on the first mass before an audience which included the panel but by Dr. Vito Ligata. One speaker presented a uh, paper on the possible western both one side, which was separated from the Veros. Another speaker presented on the possible Sonigal side, which is And uh, I presented Barangay Triana in Western Venezuela as the site was the mass. All three of us invited speakers lost our arguments in the forum. <laughs> Legal the panel upheld the findings and conclusions of the Gantaito panel issued in 1998 that the first mass was on 31 March was celebrated in Limasawa as are related. And although my theorized site is also in Limasawa, this was also ignored. Now, uh, A key document here is uh, the Ligaspi account of an episode where members of the expedition, in fact, went to Masawa. Now, uh, during the previous uh, presentations, the book one group would insist on the inclusion of the Hines de Mafra account in the literature, but they were presented to them with the uh, account of they, they would not uh, or they would appear disinterested because anyway the, the narrative here will show that the island referred to as Masawa is actually the present uh, the Masawa. So because the report of Bernardo de la Torre says that the village is located on the east side of the island and the landing place for ships on the west side, the ships with on board the prior and Maes and the Campo proceeded to that part of the island where the village was said to be. However, they did not find a single house, no Indian, they nothing at all, after which they continued northward along the coast till reaching the landing place of the west side. This was the western harbor. So, early on, the Gaspi account already mentioned the uh, western harbor in the Masawa. In Masawa uh, which was, in fact, uh, corroborated by uh, the Dinofra County, it's only surfaced in 1920. Here they saw only one Indian who shouted at them from a rock trapping. 
They shouted back at him. But in the end, you heard that there were Spaniards who came down from his rock via a ladder of ropes and a tank. Because they thought that he would be coming to the shore to meet the men, they waited a long time for him. But all that the Indian did was that after coming down from the rock, they went up and no hut, no near where a small hut was standing. He put fire to it and after that went furiously back to his rock, climbing up via the same ladder. And once at the top, he cut it and let it drop, all the while shouting at the sailors. The latter went back aboard and reported these matters. Now, uh, that's the narrative uh, of the Ligas expedition. And then I took a picture of the approximate site in the Masawa and uh, draw where they saw that video came down from the rock, climbed up the hill, burned a hut, which I have theorized was in fact that hot shelter the original cross until fifteen twenty one. But it was not the cross it is not the cross site now, because the cross site in Masawa is found south of the island. Since 2013, I have traveled to Limasawa a number of times, mostly in my capacity as member of the National Committee of Historical Research of the NCCA. As a cultural mapping facilitator, I have also seen the farthest corners of the island and taken photos of its significant places. I took this photo which could visualize the local historical context of the rele relevant narrative in the Igasmi Chronicle. The Narrative clearly points out that Masawa matches the geographic details still extant in the present in Masawa, and that it has some links to the Easter Sunday Mass in 1521 that I theorized to have been celebrated west of the island. Now, uh, In this photo, I marked the rectangular box, the approximate spot where the Ligaspi crew saw the only human in Limasawa. In this uh, photo, uh, I placed the, uh, there's a vertical uh, photo now, there's the harbor, which can now be seen in, uh, in a modern photo, in a present photo that map. Here with clearer outlines, uh, you can see the harbor because the the the, uh, the Taiko panel before the Ikata panel said there is no harbor in the Masawa, but the Google Earth map will in fact show that there is a harbor that has been documented before by the expeditions. And uh, the box there, the rectangular box is my approximate site where the first mass was uh, Father Peter Scrooge uh, had footnoted on this narrative on the Lagasse expedition that he would not object to any claim that the mentioned hilltop was the location of the cross planted 44 years earlier. On my part, I theorized that the bird hut had sheltered the cross planted in 1521. The burning appeared to be a protest, a sign of protest and displeasure against the Spaniards who had assured the locals that the cross would protect them from evil and all kinds of harm. Sadly, Masawa was attacked by the Portuguese along with Tandaya and Aboyo of the original Islas Filipinas some two years before the Gaspis arrival in 1565. Of interest, the rock promontory and the harbor in the Nasawa are called Saob Point and Saob Bay, respectively. Saob is an ancient Visayan word no longer used for entry point of demons or devil. Did Saob label refer to the Portuguese or to the Spaniards or both? Now, uh, 
When I presented the Barangay Triana paper in conferences in 2007 and 2008, all I had were data and facts taken from uh, uh, primary and secondary sources. I had not yet visited Limasau at the time. I first visited Limasau in 2013 with a German TV crew who was making a documentary on the Magellan expedition. And I was able to finally see the island for myself. Then fast forward to 2018 and there was another effort to dress up the issue for the symposium on the controversial site of the first Eastern Mass of the Philippines that uh, was made by Dr. Carlson in Seiko University in Soligao, 21 June 2018. That was the prompter for me to gather additional evidence to complement the theory of the Western West Masawa site. Then at last, Global Earth now provides clearer top view images of the, the Masawa terrain, including the outlines of roads and settlements and even the roofs of houses. We zoom. So then, I'm going to zoom on the Makikita Tayo and the roof of the houses. Now, uh, that was the vertical, and this is now the horizontal. Uh, Portion of South Bay with Oman, in close to Max's specification of the Western Harbor. The area marked by a circle and the hilltop that overlooks Barangay Triana and South Bay. If you realize, again, that was where the cross was planted. Anyway, this was the, the circle part, and then uh, uh, I presented uh, again my position before the Mohares panel tasked by the NHCP to resolve again with this uh, issue now and uh, I presented my position and then the Mohares panel traveled to Minasawa uh, last April and uh, we actually climbed the hill to the approximate site, my theoretical site where the cross was planted and uh, I went on the trip with Dr. Carlos Madrid who was Former the director of the Institute of Cervantes and uh, is now with the University of Guam. He was the, is the Spanish member of the Mojaro's panel. And we agree that this was the approximate place where the cross would have been planted because uh, it can, the cross would have been seen from the sea both as east and west of the island. And from there can be seen uh, the islands of. Now, during earlier trips to Limasawa, I had entertained the idea that the first mass was probably celebrated in the present municipal government compound. But then I realized that the property was acquired, developed, and assumed importance only after. The Masao became a full fledged municipality in uh, 1989. So there must be another public place. And so I concluded that this area was in the area now occupied by two churches and the adjacent campus of the Masawa Elementary School. So this is a photo of the, on the left is the Catholic Church and on the right is the Agrippian Church. So during Sundays, so they have to be conducting services simultaneously. <laughs> <laughs> there could be some confusion, especially if they use some assistance. <laughs> now, uh, why? Why did I uh, uh, theorize that site? There's uh, some historical precedent. I invest much meaning and interpretation on the possibility that uh, when Rio Sueto of Bangkok or Bangkau of Masawa converted to Christianity in 62, he had a church of temporary material symbolically erected in the site of the Easter Sunday Mass in 1551, which was attended by his former Mr. Lambo and uh, Francis Young. 
and the memory of which probably remained among his people. And it could not be clear in the site where the, the, the churches are now. Later, a church made of limestone and coral stones replaced the temporary structure of wood stand from this spot for centuries. So there was a whole uh, really church made of coral stone blocks in the middle of the area. Around the turn of the 20th century, the people of Limasawa turned back, really around 1907, the people of Limasawa turned back to the Catholic Church and converted to the Agripaya faith in Masi. The Agripaya and In many other places uh, where the new religion had taken root, like in Algeria, in Iran, and in some part of the world, in some part of the Agripaya hierarchy fully took over the church buildings, convents, and facilities of the Catholics. And again, full occupation. But in Limasawa, the Agripayan converts refused to do this. Instead, they just erected a separate building for the worship beside the Catholic Church. And then that church was left to the elements and lay abandoned and in ruins for at least 50 years. And this was documented in the historical data papers of Barangay, Guyana, and This building was only rehabilitated starting around. 1958, when the Catholic Vision was published in Limasawa. This one is now rehabilitated the uh, church, the Akibayan church, still on the right. And, uh, well, uh, this was already visited by the Papa John Show went to Limasawa the last uh, March 31. Now, uh, why did the people of Limasawa choose to keep the building of the Catholic Church, a faith that they left behind a century ago, on the spot where it was erected? It is convenient to believe that this was part of the local tradition to keep the memory of the Dutch of Angkau, of history and myth, alive in the island. After all, the locals still identify Angkau's fresh water well in Maracay Magallanes, they also remember the names of the two wives, Pirana and Ujaja, which uh, Father Sarsali did not document. But anyway, the chief apparently retained the display of Father Sarsali. The, the policy before is that you cannot have your children baptized if you still have so many wives. You just want to have one wife, but apparently Father Sarsali they were baptized as Christians. Now, uh, that is the premise of was the decision of the Agripayan converts to keep the Catholic Church building in Barangay Triana somehow linked to this local subconscious attempt to immortalize the spot that may have been decided that this is something must be in 1521. So I did my paper back with a question after presenting my documents. I'm waiting for the Harris Pattern to make the decision because they are not going to also listen to the good one side. So that's my presentation. Thank you very much. Uh, who went there for two days in 
na sa mga ito yung March 30 and 31. And after that, we will tell you the same thing of how do we frame the Masawa. So, just give you a feature of the island. Ito na taliit siya. So, around 8 to 10 kilometers from the boat trips of the island, tapos yung sa both sides, around 3 kilometers na. So, hindi na din, hindi mahirap kundi. So, you have to visit, just tell us for a while. We'll bring you there, and then we'll go to the lagoon, and swim, and eat shark. So the island has only six barangays that we had, Triana, Magallanes, Tonsokan, San Bernardo, San Agustin, and the proposal of Dr. Bolinagra is that it's not in Magallanes, but in Triana, which is the site of the first Easter Sunday Mass. Tapos ito, yung location niya nasa southern tip of the province of Saudi Arabia, yung lighting niya, by the season, by the season, kaya sa nila, what's the weather there? Sagot, dalawa lang. Alam niya ba? Whether you like it or not. So if you'll be there, when you cross the island, walang alon, thanks to you guys. But the moment you're there, and a typhoon would basically pass by Sumigao, going to Borongan, pray that it will end soon, or else, may itaw ko ito at siyam siyam. It means you don't know when you can cross the path from the island to the main land. Kaya magandang bulahan yan in between February and Kandang. Sa August, exciting. Gusto niyo parang talaga risky ano yan ang magandang araw ko at buwan ang bulahan ng isang mga students. So ito yung population, 20 lang, 6,324. The island has eight religions, no? And 77% belong to the Catholic religion. The rest makes up those seven other religions. Kaya magkatabi yung simbahan na katuliko at pag-ibay niya. Pag sabihin na, Diyos no, magtutudlo, tapos i-echo naman yung pag-ibay. For whichever doesn't last first. Pag-ibay ng bed, hindi dito. Pero ngayon, I think it's a more friendly agreement between the two churches. When one has to worship, the other has to wait and only gets worshipped. Para hindi magsigawan yung dalawang sipahan. And then only worshipping one God. That was next one. So ito yung major sources of livelihood, fishing, farming, employment, agribusiness, trading, merchandising, squid, and dog shark drying, after livestock racing. May kasi ito ba yung island? Yung sali nga nila? May dog shark nga po. Kaya gusto niya ng shark oil, hindi na talaga legal, doon kayo pupuha, no? At little risk for that. So, doon po. Okay, so, the commission was created only last January. So, the question that I asked was, how do we locate the Masawa in the 21st century? Especially in the people that know the history. And there has been a contested issue now, whether it's the Masawa or the one, because the one raised the question again last year. And so with the raising of the question again, kaya nag-create yung ACP ng bagong panel led by Rizzo Mohar, the writer from USC, Cebu. Now, at yung panel na to, they had an FGD in Budwan na September, and last April was in late then, with the Trubri Naga as our main speaker and defense of the faith, the defender of the faith, you know, si Trubri Naga. Kaya dito siya, ano? Kaya we owe it to him talaga that, you know, So, ngayon, how do we locate? Kasi crucial talaga yung location, di ba? Kasi, what if I, for example, ako, if I intend to do business, tapos yung business ko, nagawa ako ng yung sugar cane na candy, tapos kung tapos sa mga matanda, hindi yan, parang po, mag-sell. Kasi may diabetes na yun, mag-ibig. Di ba? Meron talaga location really matters, am I right? So, how do we locate yung nasawa ng 21st century? So, we went back to the relasyon of the Yuveta. For us to understand what really took place, during the moments when they crossed from the Ladrones Island, the Thieves Islands of Guam, and then having found Hohon Hon, and then cruising west-southwest towards Dayton. Ano ba talang nangyari, no? At ang daming nangyari talaga, no? Una yung drinking, Guam, no? And kalawa yung may saw the truth meant to be meant. Kasi yung Visayas talaga, may tatu ka rin, no? Hindi yan dito sa pila. Thank you. Saan yung original? Kaya yung Visayas po, ang tawag nila po, 
Pintados. Okay? In Tacloba, they have this festival in June where they have this Pintados festival. It's basically because Eastern Central people originally were the two people. Can you speak that book? Okay, so you can tell me what Okay, so now, when you read the, the text of Pigafetta, uh, we, we, I found out that on March 27th, evening, and it was only one sentence in the Lega, it was not on March 27th, it was on March 28th, they anchored off near the island of Masawa because they had seen a light on the island the night before. So if you, I hope you can go there, no? At the tip of Sinapalong Island, para sa try na nakaupo kasi yung mga sawa, hindi talaga pwede hindi makita. Even now, when boats, cruise ships will go from Mindanao to Cebu, dadaan talaga in between Padre Borgos, the mainland, and mga sawa. Kaya, inescapable beauty talaga siya. Pag-usun nyo. So, nangyari, yung daong nakita nila, according to Dr. Bolinaga, doon po sa Talisay Beach, na if you are there, you'll be able to see parang the direction of good one. Kasi nasa Dr. Bolinaga, he explained to me, the fire was a signal announcing from informing the rest of the islands a ship is coming to our place. So, be ready. Kaya yung language of signal na an enemy or an alien or a ship is coming was interpreted naman sa kay Magellan na guru po na iba. Diba? Accidental, insignificant, but very good intention. Kaya ginanit yung dao, can fire, on fire, to locate in Masawa in the 21st century. Kaya pumasok yung concept po na full circle, coming to full circle, na if Magellan circumnavigated the world 500 years ago, after 500 years, we have been circumnavigating the world, and we bring with us the fire of our faith. Kaya dao po yung ano. Coming to full circle talaga. Kaya pumasok po dito na in the in the 21st century, tayo na mag-igod from north to south, east to west. Yung theme po dito, faith shared, lives, uh, faith shared, stories told, lives celebrated, faces known, and the world ignited. Dabo ba? The campfire, So kaya po yung project namin, I'll speak later, we will erect po 500 lighthouses na yung kanyang inspiration coming from the DACO concept and the University of St. Carlos Departments of Engineering, Architecture, and uh, Fine Arts will be there first week of July para sila po yung kinimis mo. We ask them, we beg them talaga, please help us kasi malita po kami na uh, diocese. And the president said, we are most willing to help you. This will be our contribution for the final year. So they'll be there and this side will be cost efficient, green, and sustainable. Ngayon, yung aming taglines po ay the island of firsts. Di masawa. Kasi nga, the first Easter San Lunas, the first Latin of the Cross, and the first Kasi-Kasi. Ano Kasi-Kasi? Hindi Kasi-Kasi na. This Kasi, wala na. Hindi. Kasi-Kasi means blood contact. So, hindi pala kay Ligas ni Lugutan. So, pika tayo na room there when the King Colombo and the Jedi met, they had Kasi-Kasi. And the photo of those ending the Negro, what is Kasi Kasi, the blood contact? That was the expression gesture of friendship between two different entities. So, ngayon, yung binasawa ko, bumalik sa Liga Spain, 1565. And when they were cruising from Mexico, and they followed the route as suggested by Magellan, they reached Kabalian. Kung saan yung guys din yan. Pagpunta nito sa Kabalian, super ganda na talaga. Kasi yung lugi of the hill, yung lugi overlooking the bay of Gabalit, ang super ganda. And when they reached there, they were looking and they said, please bring us to the island where Magellan had been given hospitality. So 44 years after, nandun na rin sa memory ng mga Stanyol, hindi Cebu, hindi mas na. Kasi Magellan was killed in Cebu. Kaya si Kautuhan brought Magellan, mag-brought the Gaspin. So, in our opinion, Limasawa was the island of hospitable people. They instead of staying only for a short time, they stayed there for seven days and they got that like a on Good Friday. And they ate meat on that day. Now, imagine the kind of hospitable you want to have. So, but we'll let you do it and make sure that you will leave the island 
the big drunk. Wasted talaga. Kaming hindi na talaga sa tuwa. So, in the next time timeline, and hindi mas out of the world. Pero the way we want to frame the celebration for the next three years should be uh, following the steps of Pope Francis and the WC. It should be holistic, green, and sustainable. So, what we did last March 3031 was to advise, require, all the parishes, the, all the delegates, almost 3,000 from the parishes, now, not to bring anything plastic. So, bring your own cups, uh, spoon, fork, plates, uh, your water container, you can provide containers. Uh, to some areas para ang um, hindi ka nabibili ng water water. Tapos may mga tags po. Yung pagkain namin, dahon sa akin ng tabago. Hindi madali kasi there were tourists so not part of our delegations. But at least kami on our side, we started to make it great and sustainable. Tapos po, ito yung aming approach. No? This framework, I presented lang two weeks ago sa aming mga party. Yung dalawang approach lang ito na, is to widen the circle of engagement. Okay, when Father Bob asked me, Dennis, did you invite Dr. Gorindaga and yourself to come here to share? So I oh my God, this is my prayer. Now I can share our ideas with those who are interested, and even not interested, about the history. Kasi nga, ang punto dito is, tayo lahat ng ito, hindi lang kami. Diba? Pero kanila nagsimula in terms of framing how we want to approach the celebration. But, yeah, for the past few days, I've been sharing the ideas to different audiences hoping that they'll be able to locate themselves in the plan. So in July, the two fora, one for Region 8 and one for our diocese, na hoping na once we share the framework, yung mga Rotary, Chambers of Commerce, or the schools, university people say, dyan kami, dito ako. And then it will be more collaborative along the way. Pero po, second dahil lang yan, nasa tingin po ay hyperly talaga approach, which is to make this event an instrument of deep encounter. For us, I think, as a young older, it's not really a matter of making the activities successful. But how has it been, and how has it become an instrument of deep encounter? Because the event is celebrated about the gift of faith and discipleship. But in the event, I hope to be able to encounter God. Can I talk to you? Can I talk to you? Diba? Ito mong na ito, it's just about information. It's about being able to celebrate ng kahit tao. Na ito pala yung gusto natin. And that talaga worked and works in our history. Kaya ang prayer ko po, hindi lang widen the certification of all the things you do to lead us to the people. Amen? Amen. Ito lang may mga kamay dyan. Pasit yun. Infrastructure, social economic services, culture and arts, conferences and traditional promotions, student religious and renewals, cultural heritage, media relations and communications, and ecological programs. So, mas holistic yung approach. Hindi lang sa sayo kami doon ng festival. Hindi lang po. Talagang holistic yung pananaw kami. Kaya, una, let's go to infrastructure. There are three areas for the infrastructure. Yung una po yung DAO. Ano yung concept doon? The USC will design a lighthouse that is inspired by Dako, the campfire. Each post book that will be uh, erected will 500. If you walk around, run around, walk around no, the island, you'll be reading 500 narratives of Filipino communities abroad, from north to south, east to west. Each post will represent the work of evangelization ministries of Filipino Catholics or non Catholics or Christians sa buong mundo po. Kaya pag ito po doon, basang pag-irat, ito ang Kenistan, ito ang Korea, kasi we will share the story po. And out of the narratives po dito, gagawa ng lighthouse, and then we will give communities a replica of that lighthouse para when we light all of them on March 31, they will light their own replica and they know that their light is shining on that island and basically extending its beam of light to the rest of the world. Amen? Kaya, out of the 
narratives, interviews, we will create, we will, we will publish a copy paper book on the right, of the stories of evangelization, evangelization by migrants, and then hopefully nearing the month of March 2021, we'll have conference on the migrant workers' work of evangelization. You letter people three monuments and museum. Kesa ni ni problema buti pang butuan bronze kami sinabi ko. So that will not be the same in the next two years. Because si ni ni Miranda, ni Miranda yung ni Miranda the artist ng Bono, who also has some works to sa the ating groceries from from Manila to Antipolo, at yun dun sa Estrada. She has opened a mission and aimed the city to design the three monuments: the arrival. First class, at least a good job. No, sila sila niyo ABC. Kami very much support ng the project. Kaya ito kaya lang the venue or the place to change from the Yana School to Yana. Once the ABC is there, so it's not the east side, but the western side of Yana, which was the first side, the first east first that we must have been given to one. Tapos po we will have the island for the bed and breakfast for Yana. So in front we have. Kaya lang kahilang kung, kung, kung puro lang infra, walang social, social economic services. Kaya dito, we don't want the community to be left behind. Malaking mga muni na sila gawa, tapos yung mga tao doon tayo tayo, walang pala rin nakain. Hindi yan pwede. Kaya, sa diocese namin, through the Social National Center in July, we will have a seminar at each parish, one product, for the souvenirs, may ba, for the masawa in the next two years. But in that book, I was able to contact this installation with our team last March. The team will go to Ipasawa in August and process of Ipasawa will fit into the matrix of their concept of extreme poverty. Because they program said extreme poverty reduction by 2030. But when fit in Ipasawa, the foundation will start the program there for the next five years. It did that for the five years. That was within our bed, that 